Oh, good evening. We're here live with world champion Vinnie Paz yeah. in Coventry. Vinny, welcome to the UK. Glad to be here. I love this place. It's great to have you. This is your first UK tour? No, no, no. You've oh, been no. here before? I I actually beat Harold Graham here. Oh, Harold Bomber Graham, sorry, yeah. Bomber Graham. Right. He, they gave him the decision. I beat him. But, and then I came here again to do a, a signing in London, which I love, and... Um, and then when they asked me to come here again, I'm like, oh my God, yes, I would love to. Brilliant. Vinay, let's just talk very quickly about the film that's just come out on your life, Bleed for This. Absolutely fantastic film. How much say-so did you have in the film and the making of the film? Paz-tastic. 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 <laughs> did you have a lot of say-so in the, the, um, the running of the film? To be honest with you, I should have had more, more say in it, but... A couple of the producers were real assholes and I don't like them and they, they stay clear of me. But the movie was excellent. I loved it I, and I'm so glad so many people seen it. It'll give a, a lot of people faith and, and courage to move on and, and you know try to make it happen, try to stay strong. Because that's what you gotta do in this world, you gotta stay strong. The, the film portrays more on the life of the incident that you had with boxing and how you recovered and came back all positive and all strong and absolutely fantastic. I want to know, other than the incident that you have, what was the highlight of your career? What was the main pinnacle? What rocked your boat? I thought, for me, for me beating Gilbert Delay, undefeated in 30 pro fights, coming back after losing all the lightweight fights, I couldn't make the weight. They wanted to count me out. They wanted me to quit fighting. I just thought it was the greatest, you know, greatest fight of my life and, um, and real inspirational for a lot of people. You know, I moved up three weight classes and uh, I was a world champion again. I didn't think it could get any better. And that's when I got in the car accident. Yeah, that's that's so, it. You'd already fought Floyd Mayweather senior. Life's, your life, then. life's crazy. Every day I say it at least once. Life's crazy. What's the other side? What's the downside? What was other than the incident or the accident in your fight career of all your times that you went to the ring? What's the one that you kind of would like to go back and change if you had a magic Roy, ticket? Roy Jones, without a doubt. Roy Jones, Roy Jr. Jones, without a doubt, without a doubt. And I don't like to be a crybaby. I was supposed to fight him at 9.30, between 9.30 and 10 o'clock. I fought him at 12.30. Yeah. I was done. I was done. And that's the only fight that I would I'd like to have back and, and play it over. And not even that I would have beat him because he was, he was great. He was, he was awesome. He, after me, he won the heavyweight championship of the world. You know, I'm 5'8 I'm on a good hair day. But... Um, I would like to have that one back because he would have never stopped me. I might not have beat him, but I just hate that he, that I got stopped. I hated it. Was there anyone on the target that you wanted to fight but never got a chance to uh, line I, it up? I wanted to fight uh, Arturo Gatti. Gatti. Oh. Yeah, he, yeah, because he was, he was, and I love, I love yeah. Arturo. But me and him would have been a great fight together. It would have been a massive combat, and um, that would have been pretty cool. Would you think it would have been a bigger war than the Mickey Ward trilogy? Um, no, because More technical. I, I would have beat him easier than Mickey Ward beat him. And just like, and, and I, love, I love this, I got to say it because me and him go back and forth all the time. Fighter, if you all remember, because it was so far back, he's like, I don't know if he, I, I think he's in a wheelchair today, but um, Boom Boom Mancini, I would have killed him, <laughs> but but he he thinks he thinks he would have killed me. I don't think so. <laughs> You're kind of good friends with Ray Mancini. We have yeah, him over in the he's UK. A, he's a here. good guy. Yeah, he's a good guy. But I gotta bust his balls because I would have <laughs> beat him, and he don't think so. Vinny, I know you're busy, I know it's gone. Thank you ever so much for stopping here with Boxing Show with Jason Lowe. Welcome to the UK and we hope you have a pleasant time here. Cool, Jason. And look forward to every other fan that's in the UK that certainly wants to meet you. Cool, cool, man. And spend time Me with too. you and just uh, say thank you so much. Brilliant. Thank awesome. you, Vinny, for thank stopping you. by. Thank you.